Last time we looked at a circuit comprising of two resistors in series, connected one after the other, and we saw how in this type of circuit, which comprises of a single loop, we would have a single current flowing through the loop, and hence the same current going through both resistors R1 and R2. This is generally true of any single loop circuit, where all the elements will have the same current going through them. We mentioned that the fact that we have a battery which maintains a constant voltage across its terminals means that we have a constant current going through the two resistances, then the value of the voltage at different points along the circuit will remain constant as well. Of course, voltage is a relative measure, and hence we usually look at the voltage difference between one point and the other. We are trying to work out how much potential energy we've actually lost, so we need to have some reference point. One possibility is to pick a reference point for all the voltages in the circuit, which is the point of lowest voltage. In this case, it would be point C, the negative terminal of the battery, we can say that that's going to be the reference point with respect to which we measure all the voltages. We can assign a value of zero volts to this particular voltage level and this will make things a lot easier for us. So although we want to look at the voltage drop across a specific element to see how much potential energy the charges lost as they went through the particular element, we may also want to look at the voltage difference between every point in the circuit and the same reference point. So in this case we are looking at VA minus VC, VB minus VC, so all the points in our circuit will have a voltage level which is the difference between the voltage at that point and the voltage at the reference point. The zero volt reference is often called ground or earth and we will see why shortly. In the case of the battery for instance the point to which we assign the lowest voltage and hence the zero volts is the negative terminal of the battery. We mentioned previously that the battery provides a constant voltage and because it provides a constant voltage it's also able to provide a constant current over time. Any active device that can do this is termed DC power supply. The constant current that is produced by a DC power supply is termed DC current. In addition to batteries, we also have DC power supplies, which you can find on lab benches. This is what you will find in our own electrical lab. And this particular device has got three DC power supplies. So you can produce three different voltages and three different DC currents from the various outlets. When we look at bench top power supplies like this one, the zero volt reference is the earth. The surface of the earth is indeed negatively charged and it gives us the perfect point of low potential that we can use as a reference. So the DC supply will provide a voltage which is Vs volts above the voltage of the earth, to which we've assigned a value of zero volts. We connect the positive terminal of this supply, which is the point of highest voltage in the circuit, to one end of the resistor series, which is indicated by the letter A, and we connect the other end of the resistor series of our circuit to point B, which is connected to the earth again. So this way, the charges which are at the positive terminal of power supply, which have got a lot of potential energy, will have a point of lower potential which they will flow to, and as they do so, they will traverse our circuit and our resistors. In the previous slide we showed two separate earths, uh, one connected to one end of the circuit and one connected to the other end. But in actual fact we've only got one earth, so both ends of the circuits will be connected to the same planet. But this doesn't mean that the negative terminal of the power supply and point B are directly connected in a way that electric current can flow between them. They are like two pipes which are partially submerged in an ocean, one which is drawing water and the other one which is dumping water. So the water that's dumped by one pipe and the water that's picked up by the other pipe, because they're both in a big ocean, cannot be directly connected. In circuits, instead of using the picture of the Earth to indicate a ground reference, we use one of the two symbols which are shown in the figure here. You can see that in these circuits as well, I've used two separate ground references for each end of the circuit, but they represent exactly the same reference voltage of zero volts. In fact, in circuits, often you see more than one point connected to the same ground reference. But you have to bear in mind that there is no flow of charges between one side of the circuit 
and the other. So you can see that from the second resistor we've got some current flowing down to the earth and from the power supply we're drawing up some charges. But there is no direct connection between one end of the resistors and the negative terminal of the power supply.